And then we've also got some Johnson and Johnson. Some Johnson and Johnson. I like to say that. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Kim, and I am currently 32 weeks pregnant with a baby boy, and I am a first time mom, and today's video is a baby shower slash baby registry haul video. I had my baby shower last week, which was really nice, and we have been gifted a lot of things to help us prepare for our first child and we've also purchased a few of these things and I watched a ton of these videos trying to figure out what to add to our registry and so I figured I would make my own video to help with the figured I'd make a video to help any parents who are currently looking for things to put on the registry or anyone who is shopping for some parents to be. Yeah, let's just get into the video because I'm talking way too much. I'm just gonna start with like the big ticket items that are not featured anywhere in this room or going to be featured as a product in this video. For our crib, I went with something really simple and basic. I didn't wanna spend a ton on a crib, so I just found this simple black crib on Amazon. I'll just leave a picture up here. That hasn't arrived yet but it should be here sometime this week. And for our bassinet, I went with this Serta bassinet. This has arrived, it's in our living room, I'm waiting for my husband to come home to put it together. For the bassinet, I specifically wanted something that was affordable. I didn't wanna spend a ton on a bassinet because he's not gonna be in it long. And I wanted something that had a gliding motion and I wanted something with wheels. So that really limited the kind of bassinet that we could get. And this one had really good reviews on Amazon. So we went with this. I'll maybe do an update video after we use it to see how the baby likes it, but hopefully he does. For our car seat, we are going with the Nuna Pippa RX Light. Um, I specifically wanted to go with the Nuna because it's the lightest car seat on the market. It has the nice dream drape, so I don't have to drape cloth over it if I wanted to kind of give him a little bit of a barrier. The RX Light is the kind that you can put in any vehicle so you don't need to have multiple bases and that was really important and if we do have baby number two we'll just use it for that baby as well and then for the stroller we're going with the mockingbird stroller um, i've read a lot of really good reviews about it it's very affordable and it will be able to fit the car seat so that's what we're going with a super cute mug the other big ticket item that we got is a swing so i really wanted a swing i read ton of reviews and got personally recommended for the Fisher Price Snug a Puppy Swing and my sister purchased that for us. It is in our living room in the box so I'm excited to use that swing and hopefully baby likes that swing. Let's move to the blankets and swaddles section. So first up um, we have uh, some swaddle me swaddles in a size zero to three month and um, I've read and heard a lot of good things about these swaddles, so hopefully they work well for the baby. We also have a, also before I get too far into this video, if you purchased something for this baby or you've wished us well words, you've sent us a card or you've just been supportive or you've made something for this baby, thank you so much. I feel so lucky and grateful to have so many friends and family who really support us to the degree that they do and some of the things that they've done to help welcome us. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'll try and remember who all this stuff is from and shout you out even though I know a lot of you guys don't watch my videos, but um, I'll do my best. All right, and then we have a Kia baby wrap. I believe this is from Darren, so thank you, Darren. Um, I only registered for one cloth wrap. I'm not, I don't anticipate being a huge wrap person. We also have a structured carrier that a friend gave us. So I feel like one wrap and a structured carrier should be sufficient. Um, I think this is something I'd wear more around the house. Also from Kia baby, we have um, some swaddle wraps. So I feel like six swaddles is enough for the baby. Um, we also have a portable sound machine, which was something I heard was very recommended to have to just put in the car or in the car seat or on the go. Um, we also have this super cute blanket here. I forgot I put this on my registry, um, but it, um, it's got little animals on it. It's got like giraffes and owls. It's very soft, really good neutral colors. That's gonna match our nursery, so. Up next, we have another swaddle blanket. This is from, it looks like a place that might be local in Oregon. Maybe not, I don't know. But it's another swaddle blanket and it's got little whales on it. So 
it's really cute. Um, and then we also have very soft blanket. It's double sided, so there's a white and tan and then a tan and white. And this will also match the nursery really well. Very, very soft blanket. Let's go to like postpartum mama stuff. First up, I have these nursing pads, which are washable nursing pads. These pads look a little big. Like these look for, look like they're for some, um, some large breastuses, but we'll see. Um, I have some nipple shields here. I like this light is gonna be a problem. The next item is this um, Lansano three-in-one therapy packs. I've read a lot of really good things about these um, and also heard really good things about these. Um, you can freeze them or you can put them in the microwave and they help with milk production. So hopefully these come in handy. And then we also have a postpartum recovery essentials kit from Lansano. It's very similar to the Freedom Mom one. It's got a peri bottle, it's got um, cooling spray, and it's got hot cold therapy packs. Um, up next, we also have some Earth Mama nipple butter. And we also have a Haka, which um, I feel like if you're gonna breastfeed, you've probably heard of this. It's like a milk catcher, so none of your milk goes to waste. Next up, let's look at some books. So we did ask people to bring books instead of cards. Um, just so we wouldn't be wasting paper and we'd actually um, be able to kind of help stock his bookshelves. And we got quite a few books. So if you're looking for ideas for books to add, I'm just gonna briefly go over these books. Whew, all of the books. <laughs> this basket's getting kind of heavy. Okay, so first up we have The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which I feel like everyone has heard of this book. We actually got two of these. There's another one in here somewhere, yeah. So we got a big one and then we got a little one. Um, that's actually fine with me because this can go in his diaper bag and then this can just stay in the nursery. We also got duplicates of Corduroy, another classic. So again, we can do the same thing, keep one in his diaper bag and keep one in the nursery. This book is called Because I Love You, Mommy. Um, we do have a few books that are specifically for me to read to him and one for dad. There, I actually put like two different dad books and then I got my husband a dad book for Father's Day this year. Um, so yeah, excited about that. We also have I Love You Like No Otter. And some of these books, people wrote really sweet notes to our baby and I um, thought it was really, really nice touch. So yeah, we have this one. My baby's first book of signs. Next up, we have Love You Forever. And then we have Fox and Socks, which makes me think of Boots and Cats. Um, we have this book I've never heard of, which is called Steam Train Dream Train. We also have Goodnight Gorilla. Um, we have Baby Touch and Feel Animals. I love touch and feel books. Um, we also have Hello Baby Animals, which is a high contrast book. Um, I have heard that high contrast things for babies from like zero to three months is really, really important for some of their um, development. So we've got this black and white book, and then we've also got black and white. Um, we also have I Love You More. Told y'all we got a lot of books. Um, we also have the ABCs of Kindness. My sister got this book, I remember this. This was like the first book we got. Um, and this one is a classic, I Love You to the Moon and Back. Oh, I also picked up this book from TJ Maxx for my husband for Father's Day, like I mentioned. Um, and this one is I Love My Daddy Because. And I really liked this one because it's got lions on it and my husband loves lions. So I thought it'd be really cute. And then the last book, which is probably gonna be my favorite, is called B is for Baller, <laughs> is the ABCs, but it, each letter represents an NBA player. So I'm excited for my husband to read this book to the baby as he grows. I'm sure it'll be a favorite of his. Did I put that book back? I don't want it in here because I want to remember to wrap it. I'm going to put it in his other gift. I got my husband a really nice leather duffel bag from Tecovis for Father's Day as well. So he'll have a nice um, hospital bag. 
That was really what it was. It was like, you need a hospital bag. Like he usually uses his like giant snowboarding backpack for everything. And I'm like, you're not bringing that to the hospital. You're getting a real overnight bag, sir. Next up, this bag is full of toys. And um, we didn't get a ton of toys. I didn't really put toys on the registry, but people still got us a couple things. And I'm very grateful for that. So I will just briefly show you those. Alrighty. Oh, my knees are locking up. Oh, these don't fail me now. Okay. Giraffe activity, buddy. It looks like it's gonna come in handy. So I don't know what it is. It's for six months, so he'll have it when it's time for him to play with it. And then next up, this is from my friend Jessica. She got this cute little elephant and um, it's, it's a rattle, but then it's also got sound on it. So it's kind of like a little sensory toy so um thank you i will definitely let the baby play with this when he's old enough next up is something i bought a few days ago from tj maxx and it's just a little lovey um honestly i was looking for a lion one but i couldn't find one because our baby shower was safari themed there were some like safari animal things and um, one of them was this little stuffed gorilla so cute i already have a place in mind for this i gotta put a shelf up but um yeah, he can go on that and be super cute. Also in here is this fox crib spiral. I'll put a picture up right here. Yeah, I'll probably put this on the stroller handle or his car seat while we're driving. And then this last gift is from my friend Holly. This one, I'm really excited to use. Um, they're baby visual stimulation cards. Um, and there are four sets. So you have zero to three months. You have three to six months, six to 12 months, and 12 to 36 months. I am all about like things that look like toys that are actually good for cognitive development. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm real, real jazzed about this. So thank you, Holly. I really appreciate you so much, friend. Man, that tea is good, but then my mouth gets like mad dry. So we also have this play gym. This is from Sassy. Sassy. Makes me think of Sucky. Sucky Stackhouse. Now I wanna watch True Blood again from the beginning and stop at season three because it got real bad. This is a tummy time play mat. Really, really excited about this one. I went back and forth for a long time about what kind of play gym to get this baby. I went between like the super aesthetic wood one and the love everyone. And then I saw this and I like this one because it it's it seems like a love every play gym kind of dupe and that's fine with me. Like there's different months for different um, learning different things and, um, and it's not giant. So uh, excited about this. This was from my friend Nicole. So thank you, Nicole so much for this. I'm so excited to use this sassy play gym. Well, I'm not gonna be using it. The baby's gonna be using it, but you know what I mean. Thank you, Nicole, you're the best. I can't reach it. I don't know if you can see this, but this is a bouncer. Um, this is from our Aunt Cindy. Aunt Cindy, thank you so much for this. I'm also really excited about this. I heard having a bouncer is really good to just put the baby down in if you just need a spot to put the baby. Like you gotta go to the bathroom or something, put him in this bouncer and he's good to go and put him on the floor in the bathroom. Um, it's a knockoff of the baby Bjorn bouncer. I don't, a lot of baby stuff is just like super expensive and unreasonable. And like, it, you don't know if your baby's gonna like it. So I wasn't trying to put stuff on there that was like, that expensive you know so yeah really excited for that and it also comes with a carrying case and it had pretty good reviews on Amazon so if you're looking for a bouncer that is like a dupe of the baby Bjorn bouncer there you go or you can just buy the baby Bjorn bouncer like used all right let's move on to my favorite section that I'm most excited about and that is the bath time section <laughs> I am really excited for bath time and like bedtime and snuggles with baby. So we've got some bath products here. Okay, so first up we've got, um, what is this, what? Brush, Jesus. We have a brush and um, comb. I don't know what kind of hair this baby's gonna have. I'm in an interracial relationship. My husband is white, Italian, and Croatian. So, 
This baby could have, he, he could have a variety of hair types, to be honest. So I don't know what he's gonna have. However, like in the baby stages, like this should be sufficient, you know what I mean? Like, and he might not even have that much hair. Although at our ultrasound the other day, he does have hair. He did have hair on the ultrasound, so that's good. But it was just mainly in the back, so he might be a little bald headed thing when he comes out, I don't know. I put a couple different baby washes on our registry. I have no idea what he's gonna like. Just wanted a couple different options. And so we got some Baby Dove. We've got two things of Baby Dove. And then we've also got some um, Aveeno. He's gonna be good on wash for like a year. And then we've also got some Johnson & Johnson. Some Johnson & Johnson. I like to say that. And then we also got some Johnson & Johnson lotion, which we won't use for, what, about a month? I think they say like, you're not supposed to put lotion on your baby for about a month. Um, also, we've got some super cute bath toys from Munchkin. And it'll be a while before he can use these, which is totally fine. Um, but he will be, we'll be ready. We'll be ready to have some toys in the bathtub. And then we also have this really, really cute towel. This was from my friend Jessica, I remember that. It's like a little Cloud Island elephant hooded towel. And I've watched a ton of registry regret videos and a lot of people were like, you don't need to buy specific baby wash. You don't need to buy hooded towels and they're a waste. And I'm like, just let the first time moms buy cute things for their kids, okay? Let them, let them have their first time mom moments. Goodness, people always trying to take joy away from everything. A business. I got this pack of washcloths. This was recommended in a someone else's video. Oh, these are so soft. Guys, these are really soft. Very, very soft. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Got a ton of these. Will we need to use 16 washcloths? No. But we'll have a bunch. We'll call this section bath and health stuff. Another bath thing we got sitting right in front of is this Freedom Mom tub. I'm not gonna move it, it's not happening. I specifically wanted a bathtub that had an actual basin. So we got an actual tub and it grows with the baby. We have this forehead thermometer, which after doing some more research, um, I read that rectal thermometers are more accurate for babies and newborns, but I figured we'll hold on to this for when he gets older. And then we also have this baby nasal aspirator. This is battery operated. So yeah, baby gets sick. We got some, some stuff for him. Also in the baby health section, we're just gonna say monitor goes in that section. And this is the monitor we registered for, which is the VTech. Um, not the fanciest monitor on the market, uh, not the cheapest monitor on the market, but I specifically wanted this one because one, it has the screen. So it has an actual like tablet that you can look at. And it also connects to your smartphone, which having the option to do both was actually pretty important to me because if someone else is here watching the baby, um, it allows us the ability to also see the baby. And I didn't want something that required everyone to use their smartphone. Um, and I didn't want one where we didn't have that option. So. Yeah, this is what we went with. I know some people will say, oh, if you get it over Wi-Fi, like people can hack into your Wi-Fi. And it's like, what kind of passwords are y'all putting on y'all routers, first of all? And where do you live? We live in a cul-de-sac. We know everyone in this neighborhood. Um, it's very safe. Anything happens in this neighborhood, the cops are like five minutes down the street. Um, and again, I just, I don't think it's realistic that someone's gonna hack into our Wi-Fi. And um, honestly, I wish they would because they haven't met my husband if they have tried to do that. So yeah, this is what we went with. This is from my friend Jessica. Jessica, thank you so much. She did a lot of the decorations for our baby shower and she made this really amazing sign that I'll put up here um, for the nursery. And uh, she's just been a really, really good friend and supporter during this whole entire pregnancy. I don't think I would be in the spirits that I'm in without her. So thank you, friend. We are gonna use this and I am excited. <laughs> just a basic humidifier. We have one in our bedroom. Really helps me with my dry throat and um, sinuses and stuff. I don't really have sinuses, but I don't know. Pregnancy makes you more like sinusy, I guess. And our house can be kind of dry. So we have one in our bedroom already and this will just be for his room. Everyone who's had kids or had to watch kids recommended this item to me and that is the Hatch Rest sound machine. I put it on there. This was Statched up real quick. 
It's a night light, it's a sound machine, and uh, I've heard a lot of really good things about it. Yeah, I feel like if you're pregnant, you probably already know about this. If you are not pregnant and you're shopping for your friend and they don't have this, just get them this. They'll know what it is and they'll be like, thank you. All right, let's move on to the feeding section. The feeding section, we've got a basket full of feeding things here. And first up, there are, um, we've got some muslin burp cloths and an apricot color. I also have uh, some in a white color. This is a pack of 10. Um, can never have too many burp cloths. Apparently you need a ton of them, so. We've also got some pacifiers. These are glow in the dark pacifiers. Also something I registered for was a wub -dub, and this is like the lion one. I've heard a lot of mixed things about wub -dub. Some people love them, some people hate them. Um, the COO of my company raved about the wub -dub. His child loved the wub -dub, and he was like, if you don't have one in your registry, you need to put one on there, so I put one on there. We'll see if baby likes it. If he doesn't, it's okay. We learned our lesson. We've also got a Rattler and Teether. Um, we've also got another Teether in here. We've also got some super cute pacifier clips here. And then we've got three burp cloths. These are really cute. Like, I only wanna use these when we're out and about, like, kind of like, you know, you have your like cute outfit. Like, these are the cute burp cloths. <laughs> um, we've got one that's got cute little owls on it. And then this is like a little safari print one with like elephants and giraffes. And then this one's got cute little dogs on it. I think this was from our friend Renee and Matt, and I think they got these locally. So um, sorry if you like them and you want to get them. And then next up are these bibs from Copper and Pearl. I've heard a lot of really good things about these. And I love this pack of patterns specifically because of the camo one and uh, the little the little tools one. So we've got another pack of bibs. This was off of Amazon. So it's like a 10 pack. These are very soft as well. Just neutral kind of grays and stuff. Oh, baby stretching. Hold on, I can't breathe. Maybe this will make you move. We've got this teether. Um, we've got a Dr. Brown's colic bottle. This was the pack of bottles that I registered for. It's just a two pack of Como Tomo bottles. Heard good things about this one as well. Um, and then we have a set of brush, brushes for bottle cleaners, a bottle drying rack for Munchkin. I wanted one that had more space vertically versus horizontally. I didn't want the grass because we are really limited on counter space in our kitchen right now, unfortunately. Thing of formula from Costco. Uh, given the current situation of like the formula crisis, um, some friends have been um, suggesting that I just kind of get some formula here and there, like a bottle or two or like a pack or two, um, just in case um, baby needs to eat and I don't have any milk supply. And in case the formula is still in a terrible situation come August, which is when I'm due. And so I have a few bottles of like ready feed formula already. I have like five bottles of that. I think I'll be good there. And then my friend Darren also picked this up. So this is really gonna help if like we're really in a pinch and we really need some formula and I just don't have enough breast milk or a supply stashed up. So thank you, Darren. This was very, very thoughtful of a gift. I'll be moving on. Oh God, no! Bollocks. Okay, all right, we're now to the last section, friends, if you've made it this far. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you wanna watch any more baby or pregnancy-related videos, as well as Lolita and Jay fashion content because that is what this channel originally was all about, but right now I'm pregnant and I'm just sharing my journey, so yeah. Okay, um, oh, one more thing I forgot. Some people are like, you don't need this and this is a waste of money, but it's one of those things that's like, let the first time moms be first time moms. And that is a bottle sterilizer. This is also from my friend, Darren. Darren, Darren, thank you so much for this. We will be using this, don't you worry. I recognize that you can get a microwavable bottle sterilizer. I recognize that you can use the sanitize option on your dishwasher. I also recognize that you can just boil things. 
I don't wanna do either of those. I wanted something that's on the counter. I can put bottles in here. I can put pump parts in here and everything can get sterilized and sanitized. So um, I got a bottle sterilizer and I am excited to use it. I understand it's gonna take up counter space, valuable counter space that we don't necessarily have, but I'm okay making that sacrifice for clean bottles and pump parts. So yes. Last section is like, diapering, like baby butt stuff. So for our baby shower, we did a diaper raffle, which if you don't know what a diaper raffle is, it's where you ask your guests to bring a pack of diapers or a box and they get a raffle ticket and they get entered to win a prize. And that is how you are able to kind of get a good head start on the diaper situation. I don't know why, but I'm just so happy to see like a stack of diapers here. We've got some diapers here. We've also got some wipes here which is very needed we also got a box of huggies we also have some desitin and then i also have this portable changing pad which will go on his um diaper caddy um there's also a box down there and then there's a pack of honest diapers down there which are really cute and then something else that was on our registry was a changing pad i didn't want a super expensive changing pad i did want something that was wipeable and something that could go on the dresser so i went with the skip hop changing pad and um it's pretty cost efficient as opposed to like the kikaroo peanut or something like that so one other thing that was on our registry was this just like portable wipe dispenser so you put your pack of wipes in here and it keeps them wet and you just stick this in your diaper bag so you don't have the like this situation going on like this can keep it dry the problem with this though is that i only register for one but they sent us they sent us a whole box so i don't want to return it you know so i'm just gonna have to like give these out to people who are having kids so if you need a portable wipe dispenser, there you go. And yeah, that's pretty much everything from our baby shower and what we've gotten off of our registry so far. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys back down. So again, if you got us something off of our registry or you sent us a card, gave us a book, or just said really encouraging things to us. Thank you so much. I am very, very grateful to have the friends and family that we have who have been supporting us. Um, I've also had some friends who've come over to help me organize things in this room as well as the house. Like my friend came over yesterday and basically cleaned my house for me, which I can't thank her enough. Really just appreciate all the love and support from everyone. And I'm starting to get out of breath. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment. If you have any questions about anything in this video, suggestions for things that would be good to get before the baby arrives in about seven weeks, give or take, um, please let me know. Like I said, I am a first time mom. We will be first time parents and um, you know, I recognize that like, it's all gonna depend on your baby and some things work and some things don't. And I, we don't know what we don't know. So if you know something, please share it. Okay, I'm gonna go and get this video edited. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you wanna check out any more videos, feel free to check out any of the videos that are coming up next. Until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.